Good afternoon. Welcome to Sarah Week 2018. With me today is Charles Cernbeck, the president of Star Creek Energy and also the current AAPG president. Charles, welcome to Sarah Week. Well, thank you, Bob. It's great to be here. So, so far this week, what have you seen? What have been the highlights for you? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'd have to say the uh, breakfast on Wednesday on Super Basins. And what did you learn from that particular breakfast? So a lot of people are talking about if exploration's dead, and it was great to see Bobby Ryan at Chevron talk about how in his career the Gulf of Mexico had many times been left for dead and how it had rebounded. Yeah, we called it the Dead Sea, didn't we, for a while? Yeah, and it's not just the only place. And where else were, where else? Where was that referred? Well, I, I really thought that Lukerbert Telly of uh, E&I gave a tremendous talk on conventional, how they're so focused on finding giant fields with less money, and that they're bringing things like Zor, giant dis gas discoveries online, in like record 28 months. So is there any other highlights this week that you've had? Wow. Well, there are so many. What really impressed me about Luca Bertelli is they use geoscience and their thought processes behind it and how they did that. But the other uh, highlights for me were uh, Ryan Zinke and getting to hear a message from the, our Secretary of the Interior and Rick Perry, our Secretary of Energy. So when you, when you think about it, I guess we didn't explain what the APG was, so what is that APG thing? Yeah, so APG is uh, our 30,000 geoscience members. And for me, geoscience matters. Here at Sarah Week, it's amazing to see the greater ecosystem of financial, individuals, uh, regulators, uh, engineers, all of the things that are necessary in our energy industry. But to me, the folks who understand the rocks and the fluids are foundational, and those are the geoscientists that APG represents. And now as you, you're kind of wearing two hats in your life, um, <laughs> yes. but, but let me, let's focus for a second here on the APG. What are your plans then this year as the, as the president? What, what, what's on your mind here? What's, what are you going to leave as your legacy? Oh, well, for me, it's all about relevant science and putting it to good business purpose. And so for the last 10 years, I've been working on discovery thinking forums. And these are integrative, immersive days where we look at case studies. So we don't just take apart individual pieces of science. We get people who know the discoveries really well to explain how they all fit together. And, uh, and you started this five years ago? How many years ago? Oh, just... it's been 10. It's 10? just like yesterday. And then how many roughly discovery thinking talks have you had then over the years? Well, it's amazing. we've had 20 and we featured 115 amazing men and women, which exceeded our goal of 100 to help celebrate APG's 100th anniversary. We just turned 100 and so we're in our 101st year. Not us though, right? APG. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, when you look at this uh, after the discovery thinking, how is this mo model evolving and where are you taking this? So if, so the lesson to discovery thinking, if you really want to get up to speed quickly, you need to have immersion case studies. And so we're upscaling to the basin scale. And that's why I love the concept that you and Pete Stark introduced on super basins. The whole ecosystem, how the source rocks the, in the geologic architecture, how the various reservoirs, their qualities, the mechanical properties, their flow properties change, and how the seals in a tectonic setting and then with thermal maturity, each of these basins have special characteristics. So we're, it's a new way of thinking. Absolutely, and that, that's really what innovation is, right? A lot, oftentimes we get it confused with that it's all about technology, but innovation is often just in front of you and rethinking things that have been there all the time. When we think about super basins, this week we kind of kicked things off here on Sunday night, and we explained what they were, and, and then we had a little discussion around two particular ones. Anadarko Basin, give us a nice super basin onshore U.S., and we contrasted that with somewhat of a hybrid, the North Sea. Coming up, how do we continue to expand this story of super basins? So, um there's two fundamental technologies. There are many technologies, but you can group them into the hydraulic fracturing in horizontal wells and unconventional. So many basins that are shale basins are focused on those technologies. And then a lot of conventional plays and many of the offshore are all about enhanced seismic imaging. So these include the Gulf of Mexico looking underneath the salt or the pre-salt in Brazil or even up in the North Sea, which is really 
another one of the basins back from the dead. And there the imaging is helping with new reserves. Yeah, and absolutely. And I, I think that's a clear point to make for folks is that super basins and the concept that we're talking about is in all of the above, right? It's, it's in the source rocks, it's adjacent to source rocks, it's in the basin centers, it's in the old structural traps, stratigraphic traps, and combinations. So there's places for everyone to play right. uh, when we look at these. When, as we go forward with the super basins, um, we have this exciting conference coming up. Oh, Why don't yes. you tell me a little bit about that? So for me, it's, it's a dream team. So a lot of companies work one basin one super basin, or maybe if they're a big company, they may work a couple of them. But you can't work too many if you want to be the best, and if you want to be highly competitive, you got to stay somewhat focused. So it's rare, or maybe doesn't even happen, that operators work all of the basins. Maybe service companies might. So what we want to do with this conference is we're bringing the world's experts in, the t in 20 of the top global super bases together at one place at one time so that we can compare and contrast what's working, what's not working. Some of the super basins are very far along in the renaissance that they're enjoying. Some of them are waiting for the renaissance to begin and so this is the dialogue we are planning to create. And so here's the map of the globe in the various basins, the super basins. And then these, this, uh, here's our dream team, some of the world's greatest experts. And when we look at this, is it really all about North America or is it's, it's, it's not just North America, right? This is a global thing, right? We're calling it the APG Global Super Basin Leadership Conference, an emphasis on global. But you have to admit that North America has been the fertile crescent. It's where the basic fundamental toolkits have been not only developed, but are in the process of being perfected. So it's a great learning place to perfect, not just the core areas of some of the unconventional plays. We heard a little bit of that from Mark Papa, but also some of the peripheral areas that are not core. But how are people making more value out of those areas? And, and then the discussion is about in the conventionals, I love the, the phrase, is exploration dead? So it's absolutely amazing what Ian and I described on the, how geoscience is helping them make giant discoveries in super basins and how they do it. And they're gonna have a representative at our conference. Yep, they'll talk about Zor. So it, it's, yeah. it's definitely gotta have the right rocks. So here we're gonna talk not just about the Siberia, the Permian, and the Pre-Caspian, and the Arabian platform, these 100 billion barrel basins, but we're gonna talk about a lot of other ones that are somewhat smaller, but still lots of potential. So after the conference, what, what's next? Well, so the conference is, uh, I want it to be a legacy of my presidency. I want it to be a landmark conference. They don't happen often. And 17 years ago, there was a conference and it was everybody wanted to go to New Frontier Basins. This is an adventure going back to the basins with new techniques. After the conference, APG is going to roll out at the APG annual meeting in Salt Lake City. We're going to have a session on uh, super basins and you and Pete will be there and we'll have Scott Tinker and a couple other uh, great talks. And then we're going to have in the APG bulletin, our goal over the next several years is each one of these basins to have a landmark paper in the APG bulletin so that readers can go back. The basins won't change. The fundamental architecture won't change. But as we've learned from these basins, the technology changes, our ideas change. So I'm hoping that these papers in the bulletin will be something that can be useful. Yeah, so we're, you're creating this, this legacy library that folks can use as they start to look at basins around the world and get ideas that are actionable uh, for exploration, for field development, for unconventionals, that let them understand what the nuances are in each basin. So one final question then, uh, as you kind of go forward, what, what's, what's the biggest takeaway you think from the super basins then? So I think it's about the geoscience architecture, how the things are put together. And as a geoscientist, I think in terms of 3D. So I'm thinking about maps and cross sections, how the plays are put together, what are the, all of the subsurface issues. And what makes this a very exciting and dynamic arena is that there's also many surface issues the, and how what people decide they want to 
uh, encourage, what type of energy they want to have so they can make choices. But the thing about what we're doing here is to create affordable and abundant energy, which just makes the world a better place. We heard a couple of talks today that really brought that home. And so to me, that's the part that I'm really proud of and the fact that we can work together APG and the geoscience and IHS, one of the great thought leaders in the industry. I'm just really excited about that. Well, Charles, it's been a pleasure. I thank you. Enjoy both. the last day and a half here of Sarah Week. Well, I'm and, really and best of luck uh, as we go forward the super bases. It's great to work together, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.